Hey, hey, what's up? It's Randy. What's going on? It's that time again. It's lunchtime. But more importantly, it's time to eat. <laughs> and today, if you can tell in the background, I'm at the AMPM Mini Market and I'm getting Arco Burgers today. <laughs> now, there's always a Usually with convenience, there's always a price you got to pay. And convenience stores are, are no different. Uh, but at one time, you used to be able to get a pretty decent lunch at AM PM. Uh, like I was saying, the Arco Burgers. They have cheeseburgers, hamburgers. I think they even have chicken sandwiches. I think they even had like a rib sandwich. But anyway, they have a bunch of like gas station food and this is kind of the place to go for, for that kind of stuff, for, for convenience, quick food. If you don't want to even go through the drive-thru, if you're stopping to get gas, this is your place to grab a burger or a corn dog or something like that. So I'm going to head in here. I'm going to check out the, the food. I'm going to probably get me some Arco burgers, but I might get something different. And then I'm going to come back out and I'm going to review it for you. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. See you soon. I'm back. I just got out of the store. The AMPM Mini Market. The Arco. Arco Burger Place. All right. Now, I have to say that it has changed quite a bit uh, since the last time I was in one of these. I, I don't typically go into the AMPMs that much anymore. And I'll tell you why the the there was always a deterrent for me because they used to always charge you uh, like thirty five cents or twenty five cents. I think it's thirty five cents every time you wanted to use your debit card, and um, you didn't always have cash on you, so you would always um, have to pay that thirty five cents to use the debit card, and and it would just always annoy me, you know. So unless I had cash, I usually wouldn't go to an AM PM. And, um, you know, where I, where I live, where my house is and everything, um, I don't have an, an AM PM real close. So there's been many years that, um, I haven't gone to an AM PM in, in, in quite a few years, actually, even to get gas or anything like that. Cause I get my gas like at Costco and stuff like that, or Sam's club, you know, but, um, so things have changed quite a bit. I went in there and, um, what I got, they do still have the food that I was talking about. And what I got, I got a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. I'll, I'll just kind of pull everything out here. I got my little table set up here too. So, and then I got the uh, what I remember. These were actually really good back in the day. This is a uh, chicken sandwich. Uh, I think it's spicy chicken. And what I did is I put mayonnaise on it and a bunch of pepperoncinis on there. Very good. And then, of course. I got the 32 ouncer. I think this is the 32. This might be the 44. I don't know anymore. But I think AMPM was one of the first places to have the big cups like this. You know, back in the day, I think it was the Big Gulp. Uh, and I want to say that's 7-Eleven, I think. They started it all with the 32 ounce Big Gulp. But um, AMPM followed right after that. And they had the tw uh, the 32 also uh thirsty two ouncer i think they called it and then um and then as if that wasn't enough i mean because that was actually pretty good size that was like kind of unheard of at the time because before at a, at a, at a drive through mcdonald's or something like that you'd just get like a 16 ounce soda or a 20 ounce was the large really so it was kind of unheard of to have that many ounces so uh, i think 7-eleven started it with the big gulp and then uh ampm with the 30 the 32 ouncer the thirsty two ouncer and then um, as if the, that wasn't enough, AMPM went, pushed it to the 44 ounces. And then I think at some gas stations, I don't even know if it's AMPM or not, but some gas stations have like a 64, like some truck stops and stuff like that. Some, you know, just big ass cups. They're like this, but it's just like twice the size of this, you know? <laughs> so they kind of I don't know. I, I love my, my diet soda. So I, I love the, the fact that they have the, the bigger cups and what I got today, 
they have the cool ice too it's like the little little pebble ice really cool ice i like that i got diet dr pepper and this one doesn't have the ounces on it like i said but this one's called the extra large i think this is the 32 ounce possibly but uh, i know they had one bigger than this i think um I'm pretty sure um and then they had a few smaller sizes. But yeah, things have changed a little bit in there. Uh, you know, um, AMPMs, you know, they've been around for quite a while. I think they're nationwide. I don't know. I haven't done real, a lot, a whole lot of history on them, you know, where they where they originated. But I know they're on the West Coast here, quite a, quite a few areas. There's several throughout Sacramento. And um, there's, you know, even in the foothills. Um, we used to go to one in Newcastle. And after we'd get off work, this is back when we were in high school, like sophomores in high school, and we just formed our band. And we would uh, we would be heading to my our drummer's house, and we would practice at his house, out on the the patio. Or we had a room too that, like, if it was raining or something like that. But we, a lot of times we would just play out right on the patio. Uh, but we'd stop from school. We'd stop at AM PM, and we'd get the Arco Burgers. But back then, the two. I think it was the two cheeseburgers were two for 99 and then the two hamburgers like if you didn't want cheese on it those were two for 89 I think at the time that's about the cheapest they were at the time but um um yeah this this place is kind of busy actually I'm parked uh over here um yeah the reason why i did my intro uh out uh, in the car too is it's really windy out it's pretty chilly and it looks like it's gonna start raining here uh they say it's supposed to uh get some decent amount of rain here uh this afternoon so uh just kind of hanging out in the car um but um but yeah back to uh yeah newcastle we used to, we used to go in there after school and get the two for 99 cheeseburgers or whatever but what we did because we didn't have any money back then, you know. So we would go in, and they would they would have them in these little uh, kind of like uh, envelope, these foil envelopes, and they looked kind of cool. The but they were kind of big, you know. So the the hamburger was kind of you know one hamburger in there. It was kind of a big envelope for one hamburger. So what we we got this bright idea that we would smash two together and put them in there, and no one ever knew. So we for the for ninety nine cents we ended up getting four hamburgers. And we'd even load them up because in there you can load them up with like the pickles. They have onions. I didn't get onions right now, but uh, I should have. I forgot about the onions. But um, it, which is funny about the onions because one of my friends used to say that the onions at AMPM reminded him of like little pieces of plastic. <laughs> and I wish I would have got some onions because I, just to see if they've improved the onions or not. But uh, um, but anyway, I got a bunch of pickles and stuff. But um. But yeah, it, it's quite quite a bit different. But that's what we used to do. We used to smash the the burgers together, put two in each pack, and we'd end up getting four for the price of two, really. And uh, you know, we didn't do it all the time, but you know, that was one of our little tricks, you know, <laughs> to get a little extra food. <laughs> and then we'd go to my friend's house and practice out on his porch, and and uh, uh, it was good times. I remember those times well. And uh, oh, another thing was kind of funny is we liked the wrappers so much, and we, that was like our food. That was that was f what fueled us, man. We were young, you know. We were just high school kids, you know. But we lived off of Arco burgers, and we thought it was so cool that we could get two at a time, you know, in one bag, and and get four for the price of one or four for the price of two. But um, but we would save the uh, the foil wrappers, and we had this staple gun, like you would put flyers up on a telephone pole, and. Uh, or, you know, construction stapler gun kind of type thing. And um, we, we would um, staple them to the wall in my my friend's house in our band room. And pretty soon we had like a whole wall covered with Arco Burger wrappers. And they were nasty too because they would have like ketchup and onions inside of them. And, and it, it was not, not very uh, uh, good to, because, it, you know, it probably would draw you know, bugs or roaches or whatever. We didn't even, we didn't care. We didn't, we just didn't even think about it. But we would staple these uh, Arco Burger wrappers up on the wall. And we were so proud of them, man. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty funny. Anyway, I'm gonna get eating here. 
I'm going to start with the chicken sandwich here. Check it out. Now, this is a spicy chicken, and what I did is I put uh, mayonnaise on it. You can put anything you want on it, but I personally like mayonnaise and then all these uh, pepperoncini peppers with a chicken sandwich. This is what I really like. So, mmm. 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 Ooh, that's good. It's not bad, you know, it does, for gas station food, It's it, it doesn't taste too bad. It's really spicy, actually, really, really spicy. But it tastes good with those the pepperoncinis and the, the mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember playing out on that deck in, this was in Newcastle. Our drummer's dad had the, this house, really nice house. It was an older house, but it was it was a pretty nice house. Had this big ass deck on the back and we would play out there. And um, I remember we were, in, we were just fresh sophomores in high school, I think, or something like that, maybe juniors. Um, and then we, you could see overlook the whole canyon, this whole valley kind of, and we saw some uh, girls that looked like older. They were on horses. <laughs> and I remember our, uh, our bass player yelled down at a Mark, our bass player. Those of you that, that remember Mark, uh, he, uh, he passed away on a motorcycle accident uh, a few years back. So rest in peace, Mark. But he was, he was a hilarious dude, man. And he would yell down at him. And, and we were so excited to be in our little band. And we just got done eating our Arco burgers and, and uh, he would yell down, hey, we're in a band, show us your tits. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was just out of the blue he said that. And we, we laughed about that so so much, man. But, uh, the and I don't even know if they heard us or not. You know? <laughs> That's the first thing he said as soon as he saw him. <laughs> but it was pretty funny. But anyway, back to eating here. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty dang good. Really good. And they have these like paper towel napkins. It's quite a bit different. It's smaller, but they do have a lady that's back behind the counter in the lunch area. But the the actual lunch place where you they have the display of burgers and stuff like that is is way smaller than what I remember. But I think you can actually ask them and they'll cook it maybe fresh for you or whatever. But they do have some sitting there for you to eat. Mm hmm. I love my little table, man. This thing's nice. Mm-hmm. Man. Ooh. This AM PM gets busy. This guy's backing up and he's gonna hit this truck. <laughs> oh my god. So good. <clears throat> I would say definitely not as good as like a Chick-fil-A, but not bad for gas station food. Oh, that's another thing. Mm. Brace yourself. They're not two, two for 99 anymore. 
times they are a changing it's quite expensive here at ampm to buy so you're definitely paying for the convenience now they caught on to that you know before they give, used to give you a good deal but I guess they couldn't let that happen <laughs> anymore. It's probably still a little cheaper than what you would pay at a fast food place, but let's see. Uh, the soda. I remember being able to get these for a dollar. Or Sometimes in the summer, they would run the 32 ounces for like 59 cents or something like that. Uh, but that, you know, it's quite a, quite a few years ago, I guess. Um, but a dollar 89 for the soda, the spicy chicken was three forty nine for one. And they have the clear plastic on them because I was tempted to put two together and <laughs> smash it down, <laughs> but I knew I couldn't get away with that. And then what I'm getting and what I got also is a cheeseburger they look about the same as what they used to but the cheeseburger was 249 for one times have changed still not terrible but a lot more expensive than than they were back in the day but let's check it out here's the burger i always remember these burgers uh you know, they were never, you always kind of wondered what the meat was for sure. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's beef, but it's, it's it tastes really good. It's got a good flavor, but it was never, uh, you know, it was almost kind of <laughs> uh, different than, than what you would, you know, like a regular hamburger patty, it, but it's, it, it is a hamburger patty. It's just uh pre-processed you know <laughs> it's like what you would buy out of like a vending machine you know sometimes you can get those hamburgers out of like a vending machine and then just heat it up uh that's kind of what it reminds me of um and it, not that it's bad because it does have a really good flavor to it from what i remember um but it was always just different you know uh it never really tasted like an actual hamburger <laughs> you know kind of a it was more i don't know how to describe it but let me take a bite mm -hmm. wow that bite just brings back memories right there it tastes exactly the same as it used to and it does taste like a hamburger <clears throat> i'm not saying it doesn't taste like a hamburger but it just, the meat has a kind of a different texture and it's like pre-processed really is what I'm trying to say, I guess. It has a little bit different flavor to it. Mm-hmm, wow. That's really good. So that's really the only two things that I got just because of the price. Oh, and um, back to the uh, the fact that they used to charge the debit. I asked the lady, I go, do you still charge for the debit? And I think, I think they still charge it like on the gas, but she said they don't charge for the debit anymore. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that was always a deterrent. But I knew I was gonna be coming here to do this and so I, 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 uh, I didn't have cash on me. And so I went to my guitar case <laughs> and I was kind of like robbing a piggy bank because I searched around in there and there was a bunch of change. And then I found $38 in my guitar case. I was like, wow, and there was even a $20 bill in there. And I was like, I, I think someone, the last time I played, someone did tip like a whole $20 bill, which is pretty dang good tip for, uh, for a busker, you know? So I, I was, so whoever did that, if you're watching, thank you very much. But, um, but I did have some, uh, it's like 38 bucks, just kind of, uh, you know, I have a few different pockets and I have a few different little baggies that I, you know, and there's baggie with full of chains and then there's chains all in the area where they keep the guitar. And then, uh, there was bills in that area too. And then there was bills in another little baggie and, you know, it's a few different pockets and stuff like that. So if I counted, it was like 38 bucks and then I didn't even count the change. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Mm-hmm.
It's just like I remember. We used to smash two of these together. Look at that, man. I got a ton of pickles on there. But the cheese, you know, it's all pre-processed stuff, you know. Mmm. I put a lot of pickles. <laughs> I love it, man. It really does take me back to that time when we used to eat them all the time. And I've had them through the years, believe me. If you if you were ever in a like a construction worker or a landscape worker, this is your place right here, man. You used to be able to get a pretty decent lunch. Uh, a lot of times you're your crew, you know, you'd all be packed in the truck, you know, like sardines, you know, like on landscape crews and stuff like that. This we used to be the first stop, you know, a lot of times you, you would make and you'd gas up the truck and you'd have time to go in and get, basically get your lunch for the day or <coughs> get your, uh, you know, whatever you needed to do to get, to get right for the day. You know? <laughs> and a lot of times we were, you know, kind of partying a lot back in the day. So, you know, a lot of times it was kind of hair of the dog, you know, <laughs> maybe a couple beers, you know, uh, for breakfast, you know, just to kind of get back on track. But that didn't happen too often, but it, it, it definitely did happen a few times, <coughs> but you would get, you know, Gatorades. If it was going to be hot that day, you'd get Gatorades, you'd get, uh, you know, breakfast sandwiches, you know, a lot of time. I think they do have the breakfast sandwiches in there also and stuff like that. But this was the place, man. If you were ever, you know, kind of an early morning worker, you know, construction, landscape, you know, that kind of work. And then I imagine a lot of people, even these days, you know, a lot of, a lot of the, uh, the, um, like Uber drivers and, you know, DoorDash and stuff like that, they probably all, you know, stop at places like this when they're getting gas and getting you know grab some food and stuff like that because they're out just driving around all day <coughs> but this used to be kind of the go-to place <coughs> several locations throughout the area you'd always kind of search for one around lunchtime and it was always a great place like i said you could always get a pretty decent lunch for a pretty reasonable price and uh but times have changed you know things are a little more expensive but but if you think about it with, you know, with the big soda like that, it, you know, it's eight, eight twenty seven. not, not too bad. You know, it's probably a little cheaper than what you would pay at a, at a fast food restaurant. Especially these days, fast food is, is really expensive nowadays. So this is really not not that bad of a deal but it is a little bit of a sticker shock to me because of the fact that we used to we used to just get them all just get everything for i mean you could really load up for like five bucks at a.m p.m back in the day you could get you know like i said you could kind of smash two of them together you could really get a lot of food um candy bars you know gatorade stuff like that you know Definitely eight bucks back in the day would have got you a lot of food, but this just got me two sandwiches and the big soda. But, but I'm actually filling up. You know, it's a good lunch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these burgers have a real distinct taste, and it really brings me back, takes me back, memory lane. Mm. Well, there we are. We tried Arco Burgers today. AM PM Mini Market, Mini Mart. I think their, their, their motto is too much good stuff. And that's true, they have a lot of stuff in there. But like I said, you pay for convenience. You know, they have all kinds of like, even groceries in there, like little, you know, things like if you forget something or if you need to buy a quart of oil, but believe me, you know, convenience stores, you know, you're going to pay for that stuff. You know, it's going to be like two or three times more than, <coughs> you know, buying a quart of oil than, than going to like O'Reilly auto parts or whatever. Yeah. But, um, 
but you pay for convenience, you know? And it used to be, like I said, it used to be you could get the food at a reasonable price. And I think that's what drew people in. That's a big cup. That's what drew people in. Plus their gas is always pretty cheap too. They've always been kind of known for good good gas prices. They're kind of like the middle. Costco, Sam's Club, those are usually the cheapest. And then Ampium. If you're paying cash, you know, that's usually the, the cheapest that you could get. I, I'm not sure if they have two sets of prices. Yeah, it looks like they do have two sets of prices. Uh, one for cash, one for credit. Before, they never even took credit cards, but I think they do now. And, and I'm not sure if they still charge that 35 cents like I was talking about earlier. Uh, I just always hated paying that. So I always wanted to have cash or I didn't want to go to a PM because I, I just, I was really stubborn about it. I, you know, 35 cents back in the day was, you know, that was a somewhat of a, uh, of a, uh, a an amount of money. Nowadays, 35 cents, you know, it's, it doesn't amount to anything really. But before, you know, 35 cents had some value, you know, and, and you just didn't really want to throw away 35 cents <coughs> if you didn't have to, you know, so, and I'm, you know, it's kind of, I'm older, obviously I'm from an older uh, generation, but um, uh, nowadays, if it's still 35 cents, you know, it's really not that bad of a deal, you know, if you, if you think about it, but still, I hate to, I hate to pay it, <laughs> but anyway, I had a great time today. This was good and got my my thirsty two ouncer man diet dr pepper i love their ice too they have that that little pebble ice really good ice okay well i did buy another thing here too uh just so you know but i'm probably not going to review it i'm gonna i'm gonna save it for later but i bought three cookies they're chocolate chip salted caramel cookies Three of them for $1.49. That's not too bad of a deal. These look like really good cookies. This was like impulse buy at the register. I saw this and I was like, ooh, I got to have that. But I'm not going to eat those right now. I'm going to wait till later. But uh, maybe in another video, I'll give you a report on these. But <laughs> but uh, they're chocolate salted, chocolate chip, salted caramel. That's what the other receipt is for. Uh, but yeah, the, the main food was eight twenty seven. All right. Everything's good. It hasn't started raining yet, but it sure is windy. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you very much for hanging out with me uh, on my lunch here, man. Thanks for uh, going to AMP and Mini Market with me, man. Kind of going back down the memory lane a little bit, you know, blast from the past, you know. Used to be a good place to go to get uh, cheap uh, gas station food. Now it's a little more money, you know. It's not, but it still is convenient and it is good, you know. Uh, I can vouch for that. Very tasty, uh, pretty good quality, uh, quality food here at a, you know, and uh, the price isn't too bad. So, but anyway, I wanted to say thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me on this vlog. Um, Please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, check out some of my other videos too. I do some other food reviews and do other, other all, uh, some other vlogs and uh, Sacramento kind of stuff and stuff like that. So check out a few of my other videos if you can. And until next time, we'll see you later. Take it easy. Bye.